Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Grim van Dango. We uh, played way too much the other night and we ended up in year 3 and uh, well, we're going to continue with that. Uh, first let's uh, have the stream people have a chance to come in though. Also how's the sound? Uh, I th think it's still the same settings. Uh, perfect. Okay. Um, so sound and uh, music and all should be working. Um, let's do a little voice test as well. Uh, my scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Um, yeah, we can check our inventory as well. Oh, <laughs> that's our inventory. <laughs> we just have the scythe. We never leave home without it. Um, oh, so maybe some other things in the meanwhile. I just got a message from the Patreon. I uh, can't show it anymore, well here's my Patreon page, but apparently February 1 is the day I'm going to get paid. <laughs> so uh, we're getting somewhere, well, at least getting some pa Patreon money in uh, soon, so yay. Um, not really that important for you guys I guess, but uh, it's nice for me. Um, okay, chat's silent, but uh, there are some people here, stream seems live and proper. No one having ever any problems with the sound? Did you hear everything? And did I wake you up? <laughs> I know there were a few of you uh, in the chat again, probably left the window open again. And oh no, I certainly started talking. <laughs> that happened before <laughs> with other streamers myself. Uh, um, maybe, maybe we should also show the movie again. I think we can do that. Um, Ah, you hear everything, fine, good. Uh, there's a special features to view cutscenes. Could I have to watch every cutscene again? Um, is this the end? This must be, yeah, the year 3 video. No. This is, uh... <laughs> Boyle getting kicked out? Or uh, does that automatically go on to the year 3? I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, hmm. monsieur. Let's watch the cutscene anyway. <laughs> this is something which happened uh, last stream. That, that gives mistake. people a chance to come in. I'm sorry, sir. It's not a bad cutscene. Better luck next time. I think it does go on. That does it. That Calavera is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. <sighs> But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. To do this was our casino, this but uh... Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. But we don't need it anymore. Really? Yeah, this is it. How long are they gonna close it for? Ah, yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on this big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! Hmm. You gotta let me and back in! Glottis was getting I'm drunk. A Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? How oh, many? I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. And so we skipped town. That, that was our goal all along. We we're uh, trying to find Mercedes. I can do whatever I want to the engine. Make <laughs> it faster. Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig. And for not asking too many questions. Hell, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. <laughs> Foreshadowing. We might get to that today. Pretty sure we will, actually. <laughs> and yeah, Manny on the boat, doing restaurant job. But Manny's good. Damn good. And so is Lotus as well, by the way. <laughs> An extremely good mechanic, and hey, uh, recognize that scene. Captain, Captain Calavera? 
Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. There's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware! And viva la revolución! The game has a whole weird system where birds can have, like, human <laughs> skeleton heads. And can talk and give messages like that. It's, uh... Weird, but it's, I guess it's something of the universe, because it's not the only bird which does that. <laughs> there was the raven thing in uh, year two as well. And uh, yeah, that's how we got here. Now we're on the ship, and there's some custom agents trying to get us. Um, well, we can go to some places. Uh, let's look around. Um, Manny? <laughs> no, Manny. From here on, my uh, knowledge of how to solve all the puzzles is probably also going to be a little bit spottier than it was uh, this far in the game. Hey, it's hard to remember. Was right. These do look better chromed. They do. It's attached pretty well. Hello, crew. <laughs> hmm. They know I hate it when they ignore me. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else we can look at here? It's just probably the same. Uh, that thing, all those things. Does it look better in chrome? Hey, Gladys was right. These yeah. do look better chromed. Um, so nothing really we can do here. Can't leave the ship yet. We should go inside. Ensign, they've been sprouted. When a skeleton pushes up flowers like that, it means they're yeah dead again, re dead. They're dead. This this is this universe's way of killing people. Ensign Arnold was just a kid. I'm not gonna disrupt the evidence. You just don't want to touch the plants, I'm Manny. Sorry, I led you into trouble, sailor. And uh, oh no, yeah. Manny and everyone doesn't like to touch plants. No one likes plants in this uh, la land of the dead. And uh, oh, there's something going on there. Come. This He's back here! Uh -oh. Sack him! <laughs> Lucky we bear rescued Custom by Gladys. Customs officials, open this door! <laughs> yeah, we wanna check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. <laughs> We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Gladys' eyes are amazing. Um... Let's talk to Glottis. Let's talk to Glottis, Manny. Manny. Manny? <laughs> Manny? <laughs> Is it really talk to Glottis? No? No, that dot. That's the port <laughs> anchor control. It's attached pretty well. Uh, yeah, we got a puzzle here. Looks like the anchor's down. Yeah, we're in the Can't port. reach. Can't reach. Um, I think I do remember this puzzle though, but it's it is weird. <laughs> and yeah, there's a glitch. <laughs> well, it might have been that Manny you, you you couldn't talk to him in the original either. Remember him not saying much here? I uh, know. Um. Anyway, there's things to do here. Um. The anchor should be down on both sides, if I remember right. That's the starboard anchor control. Uh, let's see if it's down. It's down. Okay. Uh, go back inside. Then... Oh. Oh, there's options there. Ah, yeah. We're going to have to do something nuts. 
Um, let's see. It was actually a funny line, but probably. It's really the anchor. Let's drop the anchor. This just sort of was a very weird puzzle when I uh, was playing this for the first time. Didn't understand any of it. But what were you supposed to do, even? How are you going to get out with just this? Um, but yeah, you need to do that. And now let's try moving to the right. We're going to make the ship a little bit uh, smaller. Uh, might not be doing it correctly. Let's maybe pull up this left anchor one more time. Uh, exit. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Good. This is actually what we wanted. We uh, loop the anchor somehow. Um, now, we won't be able to reach it, but that's why we have this. Yeah, come on. You can do it, Manny. <laughs> There. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> this is, isn't really the best of ideas, but we have to work with what we've got. So, uh, okay. Um, now, let's raise that anchor. Gladys, cover your ears. See, Glot is watching. <laughs> That's what the was that? <laughs> the dotted line, buddy. <laughs> the dotted line. That anchor uh, hauling motor must be really strong to do all that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess because Glot has made it. Otherwise, like just uh, if you were on a ship, the, the motor that raises the anchor can't, shouldn't be that strong. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. Here we are. Um. Now, uh, just one place to go. Away from here. Uh, no? Forward then? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we named Lola. <laughs> nice. Pearl. Just a little farther, Gladys. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, that couldn't go good. Good for long. <laughs> this scene. Luckily, no one really needs to breathe. Or maybe Gladys does. <laughs> Manny, choking! Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until True. we figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> that was the same boat, we just, yeah, um, he got to be, be, we became captain and, uh, Lots of modified boat at the same time. It uh, took a year. Took a year though, so it's still amazing what he did in a year. Beware, brave captain! Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Yeah, let's save your air, maybe. Here comes one now. Uh oh. There's a light coming. Hey, amigo. Hey, I'm talking to you. 
Okay, that might not have been a sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. Yeah. Well, let's just get out of here. I think there was a scene if you just tried to leave. Nah. <laughs> yeah, let's look at that again. According to our map, I think that's the pearl. That's where we're trying to go. Um, definitely apparently, go Mercedes is there. I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. I definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. Sort of early, you just missed the start of year, uh, uh, year three. You are now here stuck in the water. The spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Manu. Fifty minutes into the stream. Not blue yet. <laughs> you all right? I'm a spirit of the not of the. Hang in there, Manu. Okay. Um. Well, what we're going to do is, yeah, dependent on that little guy. Um, how did we actually do that again, though? I thought also there was a little, like, a little window that shows what happens if you try to leave, but... Oh, also there's the boat. Oh. Hmm. You all right? I'm gonna no. hang in there, Manu. Uh, no. Guess we're going to have to wait. Oh, Lola, looks like I let you down again. Oh, Lola. Oh, I think her days of use are over. I told you that name was bad luck. Hey, sorry. <laughs> we're underwater. We're not on the moon. <laughs> Can't pick that up. Oh, Lola, That's looks like I let again. you down again. <laughs> what is this addiction this year? Huh. Good question. Well, I guess just the original addiction. That's something for later, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he sure does. Also, come on, hurry up, dude. <laughs> what I should do, maybe make a save. So we don't have to wait for this again <laughs> if I fail. Do that when he leaves the screen. Just a little bit of cheating. <laughs> little watery noises. Híjole, he looks like he's been amigo. Ah. <gasps> Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. This guy, he has a great voice as well. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Scare, Scare away, away sea, sea monsters. monsters yeah. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm let, gonna it let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Scare away yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna let it shine. 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 I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let the game do its thing there. But yeah, this dude, um, maybe not the best at uh, getting to places.
We should talk to him some I more. thought that looked like our ship. That's just also, I got a steam card. The ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. <laughs> well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Um. <laughs> that probably won't help. Um. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. Maybe he is pretty blinded by the light himself that, that he has there, right in front of his face. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you hmm. didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Yeah. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But yeah. But that's tricking the book. About that. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. Aw. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. <laughs> Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? And no lungs because you're a skeleton, so... Yeah. Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. Oh dear. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, Never, ever go to sleep. Uh, oh dear. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows mm -hmm. like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I Back don't think one. you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Hmm. Um. I know this is going to be useless, but... Could you send for help? Oh, Fuck sure. It. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. <laughs> Could oh, we it is. borrow that light for a second? Sure. Didn't stop the conversation. I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for see who these guys. This. <laughs> there are sea monsters. There's a lot of sea monsters. Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine. I'm going to shine. This, toy. this little light of mine. Hey, let's. <laughs> Hey, it worked. What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Yeah, we're going to the moon, guys. Manny, is that... The Pearl! Woo-wee! I knew I'd find her someday! <laughs> I'm rich! 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 Hmm. Rich! Shh! Something's happening. Manny, what's going on? Yeah. 
A lot of people just fell overboard here, luckily, to show us this. There's a giant squid. I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. He's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that mo that octopus is tracking us. I had no idea their eyesight was so good. Yeah, it probably is. There's no talk to places. octopuses. <laughs> no. Not picking that up. Can we talk to Manny some more? Glottis. Uh, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no! <laughs> I'm scared. I'm staying up here with you. <laughs> we could throw him down there, maybe. Glottis. Go down there and uh, talk demon no. talk to that octopus. Heck no! I'm scared. I'm staying up here with you. Can I talk to him? I'm not going. Hey, Chapito, go for a swim, will you? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Hmm. Hey, Chapito, too no. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. Uh, yeah, he's actually following us. And yeah, that's why he can easily see us. Let's uh, look around. There's uh, some things here. What's that? Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. I don't want to get tangled up in those. When I get that desperate for food, maybe. Well, let me talk to him. No? I just wanted to talk to him. No? I kinda wanted to be here. Oh, we can also walk that way. And hey, barnacles! Hey, lay off. Okay. Let go. Hey. Let's get out of here. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you can't leave me here all alone! Why not that nice, uh, Nani? Um, meanwhile, we sneak on the sub, and he must have been ripped out of there. That was probably very painful. Also, this sub works by, like, biking power. Which goes, why not? And yeah, there's actually an edge here, an edge of the world. And there's a, a little island with a factory on it. Manny? Don't ask, Carnal, because I don't know. Uh, there's no actual game overs in the game, Joe Dirt, so... Uh, don't really need to save, but... Uh, we're here now. Um, can I press escape? No. Here, let's save here. Okay. Um, well, where are we now, indeed? See any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. Oh, here. Oh, boy. Getting a little blue around the edges. A little. Okay. Gonna need the air soon. Gladys. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. Eh, <laughs> stupid octopus. <laughs> Poke him in the eye. What's going on over here? Hmm, this door's locked. Got a uh, genuine uh, evil fortress here. Children's books. <laughs> Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. 
By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? <laughs> if that's what you think of oh, me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I Domino. know you come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. No, God is. No. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, Gaudon. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. So yeah, that uh, didn't go as well as we planned. Now we're here, um, and there's some little angels. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. <laughs> the car. <laughs> the bone wagon. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our, Our parents? parents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Manny. Come on. Hey, hey. Don't cry, children. Please. Stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? Yours. Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. It's tough. Poor Meche. I didn't trick anybody. Well, Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Well, you kinda. <laughs> Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, <laughs> go away! You can't explain that to children. It, it's too hard. <laughs> Mitch is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't <laughs> know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. <laughs> so these, by the way, this is what happens to dead children. They become little angels. They have wings, so they can just fly over the entire land of the, the, the land of the dead to the ninth underworld. And children get it easier, apparently. But, uh, yeah, somehow these ended up here. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchet. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Aw. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. <laughs> I told you he was bad. Really bad. You can't say butt, Manny. Come on. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. Little <laughs> 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 oh, bastards. <laughs> hmm. You're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? <laughs> I'm in the Maritime Union. 
We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. <laughs> it means he it's doesn't want to help us because he's mean. Don't yeah. I thought maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. Aww. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. Oh, Manny. <laughs> Get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchet. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. Nice cage you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with yeah. human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us and let them make nests out of our bones. You children, so here's where they were trained. Brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. What about that? Yeah, those uh, those human head ravens, nasty. Let's maybe open your case anyway. Fuck it. Fly, be free, go by Domino. Leave us alone. If we get out again, he'll hurt Meche. <laughs> Fine then, stay in there. He is mean. <laughs> so mean. Anyway, you threw something at me. It's a tiny little hammer. I could make a tiny little birdhouse if I had some tiny little nails and wood. Yeah. We need that necessary. Let's uh, explore some more. This was locked earlier. What's going on over here? Maybe we'll just uh, fucking kill Domino with our scythe or something. Oh, look, it's my Prince Charming. <sighs> Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? The reunion, <laughs> sort of. Finally, like be found Mercedes. Huh? Well, it's the yeah. best I could pull together out here. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get decent fabric and silk stockings on a deserted factory island on the edge of the world? Hmm. No, no, I don't. Must be hard. Come on, we're getting. Let's have a chat. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again, Manny. Don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? She thinks we are working a yeah, 40 cartel. But uh, we aren't, and we need to convince hey, her of that somehow. That gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're that's willing true. to deal straight with me, okay? He loads have letters from uh, him anymore, unfortunately. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. W me? About what? She doesn't do really. it, <laughs> but well. Why did you take me out with that yeah. champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up here. Yes. So why do you think we work for the cartel if, when earlier you wanted to save us? Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. That Domino, what a bastard. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. 
They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> They're nasty. So why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. She does. Uh, that's why she wants to run. <laughs> then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Hmm. Yeah, what did happen there? We'll never know. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. <laughs> okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. <laughs> Listen, Mechi. Man, yeah, you do. talking isn't helping right now, okay? Um, anyway, we need to do a thing here for the puzzle. There's a... Man, that ashtray's so fancy you could eat caviar out of it. Once you got used to the sooty aftertaste, you'd feel like a king. <laughs> I always steal ashtrays from bars. <laughs> Not from uh, evil fortresses, huh? Let's smoke a little casually yourself. Hmm. I think we need to time this better. <laughs> Pretty sure we do, or maybe I'm forgetting it or something here. Maybe do it when she's looking away or something. Children's books. I like to read to the Angelitos. It reminds me of better times. Yeah, weird background, hey, foreground. Hey, that gun? Ready to click hand over your I would if I had one. Right. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? a while to do a thing is the problem. Hmm. Just keep trying, brute forcing it. <laughs> no, she didn't believe what that we were working for the revolution. <gasps> ah. Oh my stockings, they're ruined. What a shame. <laughs> and and <laughs> was my best hair. <laughs> Damn. Try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Manny, we're such a bastard. But uh good enough for me. What? <laughs> oh, uh, the um, you're the pervert. Speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really, I couldn't care less. Good, excellent. Carry on. Uh, we need Sir, that. Do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and BB work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Lemans, crime boss of El Maro. Hector well, Lemans. It's time for a little corporate restructuring. Oh, here we go. Let's have a chat with uh, Domino. He seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. Domino. Domino! <laughs> Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... Yeah. You killed my best friend. The demon? <sighs> Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. Well, you're talking about Maltese. That's about school. Uh, the demons are cool. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. And, uh, hey, Dick Rebuttal. Anyone else who's joined? In the meanwhile, Lotus, uh, you fell off. Fell off the edge of the world. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. 
Why don't you just sprout me like you tried a Puerto Zapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, <clears throat> that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. He's seen her work probably at the casino and uh, the boat. What makes you think I'm going to work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work. Take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. And all the slaves? Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The <laughs> real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good <sighs> people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-end tickets, now can we? That's the whole evil plot, yeah. You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. Yeah. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod. Which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. Foreshadowing. <laughs> so it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest, instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if she had gotten her ticket, she would just would have just ended up here. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a petrified forest alone <laughs> because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon, wouldn't you say? Aye, aye. And yeah, he yeah, has good points. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. <laughs> but you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? Hmm. <laughs> nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Okay. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. And I guess, yeah, because she was like bait to get Manny uh, back, back in year two, and she was just went on the boat and they went here. She's been here probably for a year already. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's try some other things. Pretty sure, maybe you can get closer. <laughs> I don't think that will help much. Or that, but this. <laughs> um, Please put that away. Um, what are you doing with your duck gun, Domino? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How did you do that? How about this then? <laughs> Please put that. That. <laughs> Okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. <laughs> nice. No, I don't think I could take his laughter a second time. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't a point and click back in the past, but it is now, and it's much better as a point and click. But there were some weird issues with it. Um, wow. 
Uh, how about the other item? You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. Your stocking, sir. Nah, these calves are way too boxy. <laughs> okay, there is a line for that. Nice. I would never wear these. They have a hole in them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay. Let's let's try the gun thing again. See if it fucks out again. Um. Yep. <laughs> that too. <laughs> then yeah. So he has a gun. I think we need to get that. Or I mean, it was another gun. I forget. Okay. Well, we've done about all we could do here for now. Uh, there's also this here, but not yet. Let's take a look at outside. He is some sort of bone wizard. <laughs> that was really weird. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, maybe we should do this. We can actually go in there. And, uh, uh oh. Follow it. Hmm, there's an anchor there. Down the anchor. Is. Boat. This is this Lombada or Lombago or anyway? Here's Lotus. He he fell off, but uh, he survived. Yay! Lotus, you're okay. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open an aft panel here. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Carnal. I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently there isn't. So good to see him again. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good point. I was just <laughs> wrenching it for fun, but your idea is good too. Yeah, so we might have a way to get I off the island. This baby's our ticket. Well, oh yeah, good point. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea is good too. Yeah, lots will just work with everything you can can find. <laughs> this is actually the boat from uh, Doctor Master Velasco that he loved and he was making the little boat from. 